Did you click on this video actually thinking that I was going to quit? Actually thinking that I was going to let your opinion of me sway me in some sort of way and stop uploading YouTube? <laughs> you're insane. You're crazier than I thought. You, you're, you got a screw loose or two up top. Okay, tune into the video. What's up, YouTube? Okay, so I got a video for you today. I'm sure some of you will love this video. Some of you will hate it. And that is exactly the point. So I shared some statistics this morning in our Discord, which I've, I've now... <laughs> cut the discord down to about maybe 60 80 people and I would love to just have 10 the 10 people who actually do something with what the fuck I say and just cut everybody else out um, because everyone else is just a taker everyone else is just a freeloader hanging out uh, hoping for the next magic trick so that maybe they can change their horrible shitty life around and that's just the sad reality of it so since I started this journey in 2017, remember when I was just going to document, you know, my crypto journey and granted, I was stupid back then and I completely admit that, but I wisened up really quick. What I'm noticing over the last two years is that a lot of you haven't. Okay. I really wish that probably half of my subscribers would just go away on YouTube uh, or wake the fuck up because you really have to, you really have to take a step back and look in the mirror at some point. And that is going to be, uh, I'm going to give you one big tip in this video, but let's, let's get into this here. So I've uploaded 390 videos over the last two years on the Janus and Brandon YouTube. I've uploaded 67 videos on the Crypto Junkies YouTube. On my YouTube, we've gotten over 1,052,000 views. And on Crypto Junkies, we've gotten over 586,000 views. Over 140 daily emails, Monday through Friday. I missed two fucking days since April. I sent you over 140 emails on macro economy, on real stuff you can take action on. What have you done with this? Obviously, it didn't matter if it was free. It would have mattered more if I was if I had charged you a shitload of money. And I know this to be true because every time I charge money for something, I have five people who cry about it and DM me and tell me how I'm, I'm the fucking worst thing ever. And I have a ton of people who stop supporting us. After years of me being there for you, when your fucking family wasn't there for you, when you needed somebody to talk to, how many fucking conversations have I had with you in DMs about shit you won't talk to about anyone else? Losing money and all your woe is me. Funny how that works, isn't it? And then I go and I'm like, hey, look, you know, let's let's make some revenue. Oh, no, no, Jay. And that's part of the problem. I don't know why this came to be, but part of the issue with the younger generation that's in crypto is they don't understand marketing. They think it's stupid. They think it's all a scam. If you if you publish books, if you make digital products, if you speak on stage, you're a fucking scammer. It doesn't matter who you are, unless unless you're a cool YouTuber who I like. Then I'll buy your merch. Or you're Gary V, and you fucking yell at us, but you do it in a nice way. Then I like you. Or you're somebody who pumps rainbows up our ass and tells us that everything with Bitcoin is gonna be fine, right? Bitcoin could go away tomorrow and I don't give a fuck. How many of you would be financially broken? How many of you, after the million times I've told you not to put all your eggs in one basket, your mom told you that, your grandma told you that, you've known it to be true, how many of you would still lose your ass because you're all in on crypto? <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. You don't even know who made Bitcoin. And from what I hear from a few people, if that ever got out, the fucking thing would go to zero. So let that sink in. Who would be so awful that it would completely turn everyone's stomach sour and they would just run away from it? And then it Ripple's no better, which I already know this game, okay? Let me explain this to you. If I really wanted to just get fucking YouTube views, all I would do is pro-Bitcoin videos where we go through some bullshit TA, I draw some lines and I tell you how it could go up, it could go down, but it's going to go up to a million dollars and everything's going to be fine and everyone's going to be rich. And then I'd make Ripple videos and I'd talk about, well, there's two different things I could talk about. I could talk about how Ripple is the best fucking thing in the world and that would get a ton of views. But what would get more views is if I said Ripple was shit and you get a ton of thumbs down and you get more views because people would hate it. And I already know that. 
which the Ripple crowd is dumber than the Bitcoin crowd because you came into crypto to run away from the establishment, I thought, to get away from Big Brother. You hate paying taxes. Fuck the government. But yet when Ripple and XRP were the same, which they were, that was the, that was the cause, right? And, and Ripple was different. But then Ripple pivoted and they were smart. They turned from security to commodity, okay, which you can do. Jim Clayton said it. Um, CFTC has said it. And then all of a sudden, oh, well, they're smart because they pivoted with the banks. Wait a second. Get your fucking story straight. And not a single one of you is willing to admit that it started as a security, which is fine. So you can't even be honest about that. And there's so many of you who've like gone out and gotten loans and leveraged your life in, in like the utmost insanely way, way possible to buy more Ripple because you think the spread and the margin will be bigger if it ever goes up to a huge dollar amount, which again, that's fine. But just admit that it's a piece of shit coin that, and, and you just want to get rich. Just fucking admit that. I mean, you had fucking pedophile Bill Clinton speak at your swell conference. Oh, but that's good, right? Because he's got a big influence. Are you kidding me? What are you going to say when a guy goes to jail? Him, him and Hillary finally fucking go to jail for the body count and all the, all the weird, insane stuff they've done. How are you going to spin that to be a good thing? You see how you're overly committed as well. And everything I just said, most of you did not listen to. In fact, most of you still watching right now have tuned me out completely, have tuned out the message because you don't like the presentation. You don't like the way I've said it. I haven't made it comfortable for you. I haven't made it cushy and told you, come on over here, bud. Sit down, sit down. It's going to be okay. We're all running that same program where we're deep down inside fucking terrified, but we don't want anyone to call us out on our bullshit because we're, we avoid all the mirrors in our house. But if I, if I were to make this content cushy and be your fucking buddy and give it all away for free, you can't, oh my God, you don't know how many people I've had now attack me and tell me that I'm scamming people and ripping people off because I charge for my fucking time. <laughs> you go to work, right? And you charge for your time, correct? Do you do development work for free? Do you go and do your job for free? And how would you feel if somebody asked you to do that for free? You would feel insulted, correct? So I'm utterly convinced that if all of these people, I would say 99% of people in Bitcoin and XRP, crypto as a whole, Okay, all the, all the stupid crypto Twitter kids who are just kids in their mom's basements, by the way. I don't know if you figured that out. And you can tell when they struck good with one or two trades because then they all go and get a new computer. So I'm convinced that if everything went up tomorrow and it went up in a big way and every, uh, everyone in crypto was just rich, 99% of them would lose it. 99% of them would fall for gamblers, not gamblers, but uh, excuse me, um, lottery fallacy. And lottery fallacy is the, I guess the phenomenon that when somebody wins the lottery, 97 or 98% of them within one year is fucking broke and worse than when they won the lottery. Now you'd think if the government actually cared they would roll them into some sort of program like the AA program, 12-step program. It's still got like a 50 to 70% success rate. Why wouldn't they just make that mandatory before you can get your money if they cared about the people? They don't. They don't care about you. And the reality is, is that most people in crypto are degenerate gamblers. And that's not a compliment. That's not a compliment because if you have no clue what to do with the money, there's no point in getting the money. You think that all of a sudden the money's just going to fix all your problems. And I've been telling you this because I went through it, because I was stupid just like you. And when I first struck it big, made my first 100,000 and made my first million, I thought it would fix all the problems. But guess what? It didn't. It actually just made everything worse because I then had to face myself and I had to start to do the deep work on all the, all the uh, self-sabotage. And here's an easy way to test this. Um, I don't know what your, you know, your limits are, but uh, if somebody were to give you ten thousand dollars right now, what would you do with it? And then if that doesn't really phase you, do twenty, do fifty, do a hundred. But there will be a limit, and you'll be able to see where your limit is based on the urge and the itch you would immediately get with that money. If your urge and your itch is to go and spend that money, to go and cruise through Amazon and find stuff that you need, then you're a self-sabotager. You're a self-sabotager. 
And so here's the, the tip that I want to give you. It's one of the most basic things, and we all know it. Everything I talk about, guess what? You probably already know. And you know that I know that, but yet you still aren't doing it. It's called self-awareness. If you've been running the same program for any length of time and you're not looking back and you're not reviewing game tape like Jordan and like every other great athlete and great peak performer ever, if you're not going back and practicing and reviewing game tape, then what are you doing? You are just re repeating the same insanity over and over and over again, hoping for a different result, as Albert Einstein said. That is the definition of insanity. You have to go back and look over what you just did. You have to go back and look at how the last couple of weeks, months, years have gone. I've watched some people in our community for two years do the same shit, the same exact thing. They hang out in these bullshit telegram groups and they're in 15 discords. And you know what they do? They sit around with a small group of like-minded individuals and they practice getting liquidated every single week. Every week there's somebody new that got liquidated. And they just bullshit and speculate about every minute of price action. There's not a single investor on the planet that would do that, that would behave that way. Second thing, and I know this will be a shocker to some of you, there's not a single emotional investor on this planet who has consistently made money. I've listened to Market Wizards, which is by far one of the best compilations um, and gatherings of the best traders and hedge fund managers on the fucking planet. All three of the versions, I've listened to them over and over and over and over again. Not a single emotional investor or hedge fund manager why? Why do you think that is? Because it doesn't fucking work. But yet here we are two years later. And how many of you are still making the same fucking mistakes? So where is the self-awareness? And so what you're going to start to see is you're going to start to see me pushing more because I've, just, I've had enough. I've had enough with this fucking ignorance and I want smarter people. I want more thankful, grateful people that are watching my shit, downloading my stuff. We create a ton of free content, have been for years, and I'm not going to stop because, yeah, this is my passion. And uh, so there's two things that are going to happen from videos like this and, and really um, how I've now decided to behave is that you're going to fucking hate me and you're going to walk away. Great. See ya. Fuck off. Bye-bye. Or you're going to wake up. And you're going to look in the mirror for the first time in maybe a long time. And you're going to start to take more accountability. And you're going to become a better trader. You're going to become a better investor. And you're going to actually start to build something that lasts. You're going to stop living paycheck to paycheck. And you're going to start to build something substantial. And if you're fucking game for that, then just stay subscribed. And if you're triggered and you hate this, then feel free to comment and cry below. Or unsubscribe and fuck off and go find somebody who's going to pump rainbows up your ass about Bitcoin and where it's going. Because I'm not going to do that. So that's where we're at with this. I hope that if nothing else, you can appreciate uh, what we've been doing and what we've been striving to do with this community. But um, yeah, we're, we're absolutely going in a completely different direction that I've been subtly changing now all this year. And now it's time to like draw the solid line in the ground and say, okay, you're either with us on the fucking ship or get off the ship and we're gonna throw you off. And that's the environment that I'm creating from here moving forward. So if you're game for that, give it a thumbs up, stay subscribed. If you hate this, give it a thumbs down. Not going to bother me any. Comment below, talk shit, do what you do. And um, be on the lookout, more videos coming soon. See ya.